Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, hey traders, let's have a look at the uh, technical analysis. We're gonna look at the S&P 500 technical analysis of what's going on right now. Is it the top or is there something else brewing right now? You know, and to me, top, top of the market or something else brewing. And I believe most of this will actually surprise a lot of people when it comes to the actual market. So let's have a look at the technical analysis only in today's video. And then, um, and that's what we're gonna look at. Look at, we look like we're gone. <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, I had, well, for you guys um, uh, that were wondering, yes, I did have my fight on the weekend, my fight, and I actually won my fight as well too. So um, very, very, very grateful for that. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to be looking at the uh, all the indices uh, of the um, uh, of um, <laughs> let's get straight into it. But before we do start, guys, I am running a flash sale for you guys that are struggling with your trading right now. Um, I'm just running a complete flash sale today. Uh, you guys enjoyed it last week, so I'm going to be running it again today. Just seven dollars, guys. If you go to johnsflashsale.com, I'm going to be doing it for one or two days again, and, and I'm just going to be shutting it down. So if you guys want it. Go to johnsflashstyle.com. You're going to get this entire trading course to help you get started. If you're struggling or you need help, trading systems and mindset, then just go to johnsflash, johnsflashstyle.com. Move over now through to the Dow Jones. Let's have a look at here with the Dow Jones. And one of the biggest things, guys, when we're actually trading the markets, is the biggest thing is that we make it, we make things too complicated. All right, trading. It's actually not complicated to understand what's going on right now in the markets. Right, if you're trying to read the charts or understand what's going on in the markets, we can apply just simple one simple analysis. We don't need all the amazing indicators out there to tell us what's going on. The most important thing that I've learned over my last 16 years of trading and one of the biggest mistakes that I have made over that time has been um, not listening to the markets, right? Because you can focus on the stochastics or the RSI or the MACDs and so on and so forth. But if you're new to this thing called this world called trading, or you've only been doing it for a year or two, um, the most important thing to the market, right, is sim is uh, is simple trend analysis. And 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 I really just say that it's actually we, we don't need to overcomplicate it. And so what I mean by that is this: is that as you can see on my screen, I've got volume down the bottom here, but you don't even really need volume. You can just bring up a chart that looks like this. Bring up the daily chart that looks like this. If you try and understand what's going on right now and bring up the last, say, six months. Let's take everything off the screen. You don't need any trend lines. You don't need any trend lines. You don't need um, anything that's going on in the markets, right? Anything that, you don't, you don't need the, the grid lines. You don't need the horizontal lines. You don't need the codes. It's, it, you don't need this secret indicator or the holy grail indicator or even the moving averages. Now, yes, they can be good confirmation tools of what's going on, especially moving averages, right? Moving averages can give you the overall trend of what's happening at that time. But the most important part to the markets, and let's simplify this down to the most important part, is simply trend analysis. And the market is simply is that the trend is your friend until the end and until the until that friend becomes no longer your friend right then we don't need to worry about anything and this something is such a big 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 thing guys that it's so important right to your trading if you're trying to understand what's going on in the markets right now the market goes through different phases right we go through we go through bullish phases which is an upward trend higher highs and higher lows you know the trend is your friend which is Starts with U and ends with P, you know, so your friend is up at that time. And if we have lower lows and lower highs in the markets, well, guess what? We have down, don't we, right? We have a down. Our friend is what? Our friend is down today. <laughs> and then we have the market when the market's going sideways. So just by, un this, um, you know, side W, side W, there. Yeah, there, there we go, right? So we have upward phases, downward phases, and sideward phases. And this is something, guys, that is just so important that, that even like with me, if you look back over time, over history, the market's always given us some guidance on what's going on. Um, and so if we're in an upward phase through here, if we're in this sort of upward phase and we're trying to short the market, you may be lucky in, you know, in capturing the top, but guess what? Nine times out of 10, the market's going to continue higher. Nine times out of 10. You're going to be right one time. So... If you're looking to trade the markets, wouldn't it be better just to identify the trend and trade with that? 
And then if the market's going down, if the markets continue to stair step down, stair step down, stair step down, the market may go down and then the market rallies through here and you're like, oh, the market's changed, the market changed, the market's turned and suddenly it does that again on you. It's like the market's going down. So the best scenario is to trade with that trend. And again, maybe seven, eight times out of 10, the market's going to continue. The market's likely to continue. And maybe 20, maybe 30% of the time, you may get that turning point. Make sense? But as long as we're going with the markets and sideways, if the market's going sideways and you're trying to predict that next breakout or it's going to happen right now, it's not a good thing, right? Because the market is saying, listen, I'm still sideways right now. And until I start to do something like this, like a higher high and a higher low and start to break out, where the buyers are coming in, where the market's now getting into an upward trend, or we break down something like this here, where the market's now saying, okay, I'm now starting a downward trend. You're now gambling here, you're right? You're gambling, you're hoping, you're wishing, and it's not a really good proposition. So when we're looking at the market and we're trying to simplify this process, if we look at this here from that perspective, we can see on the Dow Jones, we can see we've made a higher low, a higher low, moving up through here to here where we had a move up sideways up and then down so that'll be the high low and now that's happening so the trend is your friend until the end and we continue to make these really nice high lows so if you're listening to people and it doesn't matter guys the market can go up a lot longer than you think yes we're overvalued yes the biggest debt bubble yes the bubble's going to burst someday maybe <laughs> right yes 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 but on a technical basis, right now, if we try and understand what's happening right now so we can get a good understanding, is that right now the trend is your friend until the end. And if we and if the market starts to change, aka if we start to break its previous lows, which we haven't, as you can see, we've all move up and move down. We made a slight low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Until the market breaks this low and we no longer are making higher lows in the markets the market is in an upward trend. We could even have a pullback here for a bit and then still make another higher low through here and then, then, then continue up. So simplify the process, guys. It doesn't have to be that difficult. And guys, I'm telling you, and traders, um, if you want to become good at this thing called trading, we've got to just, 80% of the stuff out there that, that, we're tra that we're learning and we're listening to and so on and so forth, it may be good, but it's not just going to help you the 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 20% that's going to move the 80% of the needle, you know, the whole 80, 20 rule, right? 20% of the stuff you do, is going to move 80% of the results. It's going to be stuff like this. And it's going to move, it's going to move the needle for you so much that um, you're going to get a really good understanding on what's going on. And this is the most, this is some of the most simple, simplest, but most powerful things we can do when trading the markets. Let's look at the S&P 500 here. So the S&P 500, what do we have? It's just really, really, really simple, right? We have a low. We could use this even a higher low through here, slight higher low. Then we had another slight higher low. Then we had a very good higher low, right? You see how this is almost a double bottom, but slight higher low. Rallied up. That was the low to the high point. Then we pulled back here, another higher low. Now we're doing that. Look at this here. Higher lows all the way up. The trend is your friend until the end. So remember I said before, guys, trying to pick a top right here, you may be right 20% of the time. 20% of the time, yeah, you maybe get that. Maybe even 10% of the time, the way the market is now. You know, and 80 to 90% of the time, the market's likely to continue. So always, you know, the whole thing is wherever the trend is, just look at that. And yes, because we do get trend analysis, we're going to get these pullbacks, right? So just because we get a pullback doesn't mean the trend is over. And the problem is that these pullbacks, you don't know how long it's going to last. You can see they only last maybe a couple of days and bam, back up again. This lasted a few weeks, bam, back up again. This only lasted a week. This was actually show pullback before we go back up again. This only lasted a couple of days and then we go back up again. So if you're trying to short the market, you, you, the whole problem with shorting the market in an upward move, an upward trend, is you just never know where that market is going to end. And so... I mean, that, that pullback, right? You could be in a pullback like, oh, this thing's going to drop and it does start to drop for a few days and then bam, the trend, trend continues again and, and the way we go again. Looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ even has, has continued to make really nice higher lows. Looking at this here on a recent basis, we can see we had this low point. Then we had a low, rallied up. Then we had this higher low and now we're rallying back up again. So right now, until we break this major low through here, the buyers are still in control and we're now likely to continue up. So even if, if the market pulls back through here, does it mean sellers are in control? 
Not yet, right? Because the whole trend still hasn't changed. Because we could do that and then we can go back like that again and we feel like, oh, look, it just made another higher low before we go back up. And now you've got low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Now, I'm not saying we're going to get a pullback through here, guys. I'm just saying if we did get a pullback, this could just be another little fake out before we go for another run again. Um, and until we break this low through here, which is around that 13,000 mark, this big picture here, as you can see, I've just zoomed out. This big picture here has not changed. Until we do that, that's when the danger territory. And it, and until until we break this 13,000 level, if we do, which I don't think we will, I think we're going to continue up the way the way I see the third and fourth quarter happening this year, guys. We're, we're going to see an explosion um, in the market. Moving over now through to the Russell. And what's happening with the Russell? Ah, uh, is it an upward trend? Is it a downward trend? What's going on? Actually, it's no one, right? We're not getting higher highs or higher lows. We were back here. Look at this here. Low, then we had a high low, then we had a high low, then we had a low, then we had a high, then we had a double bottom. And then we're, now we're getting this action. So who's in control of the Russell 2000? No one. So trying to predict, trying to jump, trying to capitalize on a big move while the market's doing this here, where no one's in control, we're no longer in an upward move, which is buyers in control, a downward move, which is sellers in control, we're no longer in those movements, right? And so, so therefore, you'd be gambling if you did start to trade this here. And then so, and also moving down to the Russell, and if you look at the Russell 3000, who's in control? Let's do back simple analysis. Low, move up, down, higher low, move up, move down, slide higher low, move up, move down, good higher low, move up, move down, move up. So as you can see, these swings through here, and you may even call that something as well too, right? That may be messy. But as you can see, these clear higher lows are still up. So apart from the Russell 2000, all these indices are up. So we cannot expect a big market crash yet. Yes, we can get a pullback. And yes, this may be a big double top and we may get pulled back. But if you're trading the daily charts and you look at the daily charts, take it one day at a time. And if the market does start to form into something else, take the chart based on what it's doing today and right now. And then as the days unfold, continue to be flexible because yes, this could be a double top and yes, the market could do that and we could then start a downward trend and then a big crash and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we need to be flexible, but not throwing our thoughts or what we hope or what we think is gonna happen, but purely based on, okay, every time we got a pullback, the market continued up. So the overall trend is up with these pullbacks through there. So I hope this helps you out today, guys. Um, important market update for today and you know it's not what you think and it will surprise a lot of people also guys uh, once again make sure you go to johnsflashout.com because i am running that seven dollar flash sale if you guys need if you, if you like that sort of stuff that i just taught you just then you're going to absolutely love the trading course so go to johnsflashout.com get the seven dollar trading course and i'll see you i'll speak to you real soon